Hello and welcome to Nick's Allotment Diary. It's been a while since you've joined me for a plot tour. So today I'm going to show you around what's going on in my allotment at the end of April. These are the garlic that I planted way back, back end of last year. I've got a few different varieties, Thermodrome, Elephant Garlic, and a variety called Casablanca. So I'm pretty pleased how they're looking at the moment. In this bed I've also got a row of Elsa Craig onions. They're very small plants, not doing too well to be honest. I think they'll soon pick up. And in the rest of this bed I've just put in two rows of Anya potatoes. They're a variety related to the pink fir apple and they have a creamy coloured flesh sort of long thin potatoes as you can see they're just starting to emerge now so i probably should earth these up over to the no dig bed a couple of parsnips still left in i think they're going to go to seed fairly soon to be honest unless I dig them up and some carrots that have been overwintering not spectacular the carrots then under the netting we've got some purple sprouting broccoli I have been picking the spears of this relatively frequently there's not much left on it now if you keep picking them through April, you get more side spears being produced. And then next to that, there's uh, the Savoy cabbages, where I've harvested the main cabbage. What they've done is produce some little side shoots, and they're starting to flower now. So what I'll do is harvest the best bits of them, and then pull up the plants, and I can use the bed for something else. After the very wet winter we had, we've now had a prolonged dry spell for about four or five weeks. And, what's that? and what that's done is cause the soil in this bed to crack really heavily. This is not one of my no dig beds, this is one of my normal beds. It was left over the winter and I have the sprouts and brassicas in which as you can see have flowered. I decided to leave the flowers on for the next few weeks. As you can see the bees are absolutely loving these bright yellow flowers. Now comparing this bed, which is the no dig bed, to the other bed, you can see this one hasn't cracked in any way, shape or form. The soil is really good condition. I've planted a row of onions along this side. I'll plant another row next to them. There are some surface weeds, but they can easily just be hoed off. So definitely a difference from that bed to this bed. Now admittedly this bed hasn't been dug over and if it had been dug over it probably wouldn't uh, be quite as compacted 
as the soil has been and probably has caused part of the problem with regard to cracking but definitely a difference between those two beds now strawberries they're starting to flower now so hopefully should get some fruit on them in the next month or so May time into June is when we tend to get strawberries I will have to net these to keep the birds off them but yeah these strawberries are looking pretty good next we'll have a look at the herb bed we've got some thyme rosemary that's just starting to flower there curry plant and chives got plenty of chives on the plot they self seed really easily and they have beautiful pink flowers and they won't be long at all they'll probably be out in the next couple of weeks and then we have the oregano that always does well Then we also have some lemon balm. So plenty of fresh herbs in the herb bed. Over to the next bed. Following on from the herbs, here's the bronze fennel. Has lovely aniseed smelling foliage. So in this bed we have a self-seeded forget-me-not decided to leave here because it has lovely blue flowers but I will have to dig it out before it sets seed otherwise I'll have it set in seed throughout the whole of the bed the other things in this bed are some alliums they're just starting to flower look at this one it's got a head and then another little head coming out of the top of it very unusual also in this bed we have thornless blackberry that's just starting to flower now you see the flowers opening up the bees love this plant and it always produces loads of blackberries the other thing in this bed is the plum tree. This had loads of blossom on this year and there are some small plums that have just set. So hopefully should get a decent crop of plums in about August. In this bed we have some shallots. A row of shallots along here and a few peas now they've not done very well the peas only some of them seem to have come up also planted some brassicas they are calabrese which are the green broccoli and some summer cabbages now I did put them in without hardening off the plant so they've gone a sort of purplish colour but having a look the new growth it looks fine so I think they'll pick up in the next week or so these are growing in the new no dig bed that I prepared over this winter over to the rhubarb Plenty of rhubarb in the fruit bed this year. And next to it is a red currant. As you can see, it has plenty of fruit that's set on it. Talking of fruit, 
this is the apple tree which has quite a bit of blossom on it hopefully you should get plenty of apples later on in the season now to the flower bed every year have a magnificent display these orange calendula they self seed really easily and have a wonderful vibrant orange flower rose bushes doing well after being cut back severely in February lots of new growth I'll show you the other one this is the yellow rose bush and here's the one that has the pink flowers plenty of new growth there's even a bud there of one of the roses a few green fly on them that they usually dealt with by the birds picking those off never had any problems with green fly really on the roses now into the fruit cage this is where quite a bit of work needs to be done that's one of my jobs for today is to move some of the bushes that I've planted in pots back into the ground did do this one the other day which is a red currant bush and I have given the ground a good soak with a hose because it was so dry and I do need to be able to dig over this bed to remove as much of the bindweed root which is still in it before I put the bushes back in I am going to space the bushes much more widely than they were before and place them around the edges of the fruit cage so that I can access the fruit much more easily to pick them I am late in putting these bushes back into the ground really this should have been done while the bushes were still dormant and before they were flowering but unfortunately I wasn't able to get up to the plot to be able to do that so I will get them back into the ground and even if I don't get a decent crop of fruit this year the bushes should bed back in ready for next year and hopefully we'll fruit next season just thought you'd also like a view of the communal garden the bee doing its work we've got some nice geronicum these lovely yellow flowers some alliums daffodils are over now and the tulips but lots of other nice flowers to take their place I hope you enjoyed that tour of my allotment thanks very much for joining me at Nick's allotment I'll see you again next time.